Welcome to this week's video. It is retinoid, retinol, vitamin A, what's the difference, where do you start? I have enlisted the help of my dermatologist, Dr. Marjorie Nigro here in Houston, Texas. She is a rock star when it comes to dermatology. I love you. This entire city loves her. Everybody comes to her for all kinds of help with their skin. I figure why not go to the source? You know, I, I, I play a doctor on TV when it comes to skincare. I've learned everything that I know from Marjorie. So we're going to talk all things vitamin A, Perfect. retinol, retinoid. Okay. Retinol is the lightest one. Lightest one. That's so let's start definitely with that true. Because okay. that's where that's where people initially go when uh -huh. they want a retinol product is they'll yeah. go to their drugstore. That's so true. kind of walk us through first of all what all of these do and how do we start? Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Dominique, for having me here. This is so fun. And you know a lot about that. Okay, Dominique and I could work together we anytime could. after I all these years. <laughs> so basically, the whole thing is uh, the line and the family of retinoids are the best family when you're talking about aging, renewing skin, dark spots, and uh, acne also, and now even treatment of skin cancers and precancers. So they are really the way to go. Everybody should be using some form of retinoid in their routine of treatments. Retinoids, the retinoids are all formed by vitamin A. So they're mm -hmm. all vitamin A products, right? So they come from vegetables and the one with more amounts of vitamin A is carrots. Some meats and produce also can have some uh, retin A and uh, retin A, I mean vitamin a on uh -huh. it and so the the whole family goes from the weakest part of more sensitive let's say part of the retinol family and all the way up to the stronger and more potent ones um, the retinol that we were talking about is the weakest and I would say more uh, mild product of the line. Very effective too. It's not to say that because it's mild it doesn't sure. work. It works very well and it's a, a real stepping stone when you're talking about retinoids, right? You start with weaker, get your skin ready for it. Everyone is going to go through a period we call adaptation and that period is generally when the retinoid is penetrating on your skin, is making your cells increase their turnover, is making your cells make better collagen and elastic fibers so there will be some shedding. Mm -hmm. We don't want the shedding to be too intense. Because, because people will back off and they'll be turned off by it. That is the main reason why a lot of people say I can't use retin-A, I can't use this and that. You start it too strong or you're doing it too much. Mm -hmm. The stepping stones should be very very gradual and very slow and doing that you're never going to have a problem with looking bad before you look good, right? Yeah. So starting by retinol and here there are some retinol products. Retinol is a vitamin A product that you can buy without a prescription because it's not so strong. It's not going to hurt anybody. It is a very small and the first step in the line you can get this over the counter. Neutrogena has a line of retinol and it has uh, formulations like a cream form, like a face oil. This one just came out and it's a, in a dropper and you can put that in your moisturizer at night. You can put that on a clean fresh face. It doesn't really matter how you use it and it works really really well. Other products also have Retin-A. Olay has a great product also yeah, with uh, Retinol that. to be used at night. Uh, Retinol by Alassin, it's another great product. They come in two concentrations. The lighter one that is a 0025 mm -hmm. and the strongest one a 05. So you can start with the mildest one and come. There are hundreds of products out there that contain retinol in their formulation. So you can choose the one that you feel better with. Some formulas are more moisturizer, some are less moisturizer. Mm -hmm. The rule you cannot forget, you cannot use these products during the day. The sunlight decreases the potency and in some cases completely destroys the retinoid. Oh, so interesting. It, the so it's reason, a nighttime product. It's a nighttime product. And the way I make my patients remember that is vitamin A comes from carrots, grow under the earth. They don't see the light mm -hmm. until the product is ready, right? And the products with other acids, salicylic acid, glycol, 
folic acid, those products are made with fruits and they mm -hmm. are exposed outside, so yeah. no problem using during the day. This, everything we're gonna be talking about today is night products, so all of those should be used when you're going to bed at night. Another question is, can they be used mixed with a moisturizer and the mm -hmm. answer is yes yep. you can mix them you can mix them together in your hands you can put one of the other moisturizer first retinoid or vice versa retinoids penetrate through anything mm -hmm. it is we all have in our cell level receptors for retinoids right what are receptors it's kind of like legos so mm -hmm. we have openings in our cells that are specifically made for a retinoid to bond into it so even if you have thick creams on your face and you put the retinoid, you will find the Lego space and bind to your so skin. So you don't have to do the retinoid, wait a couple of minutes and then do the moisturizer. You do not. Because a lot of people think you do. Yes, and that makes it harder. It I mean, time. how many of us, right, working moms, you're going to bed and now you have to put this and then wait another 50 minutes. It's never going to happen. So yeah. I tell my patients, mix it in your hands with your favorite mm -hmm. night moisturizer. You know if you need a light one a heavier one put your retinoid with it and you can apply it to the skin without a problem right. only product that should not be mixed with the majority of the retinoids here is benzoyl peroxide for acne ah. that product for acne can only be mixed with different and we'll talk about that later none of the others can be mixed with that but other than that you can use any creams you want okay now this is all for an anti-aging regimen right? definitely so, yes baby steps if you want to start with your drugstore products yes. that would be a retinol the neutrogena the olay products let's say somebody wants to pull out the bigger guns right okay. and they come that's to the dermatologist okay. right so now we're going from retinol to retinoid that's exactly explain right explain the difference and and how much of a step up that is that's perfect so here is the deal right uh, Retin-A, in fact, was the first one that was developed in 1971 was when Retin-A was approved by the FDA. Right. Retin-A is really called Tretinoin. Retin-A is a brand name. Tretinoin is the drug, right? And so it was used first just for acne, 1971 acne for retin-A. And the reason was after 10 to 15 years, they started noticing that acne patients weren't aging. Yeah, they and it was, skin. They had all this good looking skin. They yeah. didn't have brown spots. They didn't have fine lines and wrinkles. Then in the eight, mid to the late 80s, real research about wrinkles started happening with mm -hmm. those products and going to the molecular side. And we found out that once the retin-A penetrates in that Lego, uh, situation reception I told you about it uh, makes the cell work better mm. it would be like a vitamin for the inner part of your cell so the cells start to age they don't produce collagen that great the collagen is soft it doesn't tighten you mm. the elastic fibers are saggy so your skin starts to drop pigmentation starts to get uneven yes. some people don't the dead skin doesn't exfoliate anymore. Mm -hmm. When we look at a skin of someone without retinoids in their 60s and 70s, the biopsy of that skin so so much of dead skin is still attached to the epidermis. Mm -hmm. That's what people say, my skin is dull. My skin doesn't have that shine of the young skin. And it is true because it's covered in dead skin. Yeah. Retinoids exfoliate that skin, improve the production of new cells every day, and you're going to be making cells the way you did 20 years before. So it's not too late to start with a retinoid? Never. Never too late. I start patients in their 70s and even 80s. If they Fabulous. want to look good, there's nothing wrong with that. And the new research that will be coming out very soon will show that Retin-A is even able to prevent some forms of superficial skin cancers. So go for it. Any age, you always can start. When somebody comes in, do you generally start at the lower level, which is 0 0.025? Yes, 0 0 0 okay. So it's like this. I always start them in a little bit of retinol at night, right? Mm -hmm. And all these products, I always advise you in the beginning, don't do it every day. I mean, there's a phrase that Dominique always says every time we talk about stuff like that. This is not... A sprint. It's, it's a not marathon, a sprint, right? right? So you really have to save energy to be doing this 
face slowly because the goal is better skin. Yeah. The goal is not burning, is not itching, is not looking bad, shedding all your skin. The goal is to go slow and every day be better than the day before, right? So I would start someone, my first step, in fact, I don't go to the prescriptions right away. I've been over the past few years going to the drugstore different, okay? Mm -hmm. Different is adepoline, and adepoline, in fact, is a third generation stereo, uh, retinoid. That means it starts with the retinol and retin-A. Second generation is just retinoids by mouth. We don't use that for skin, uh, for aging. And third generation is different. Why is it so much, let's say, in a way, better? It is much more tolerable, mm. and that's the reason why it was allowed to be sold over the, the counter. counter without a prescription, right? There's still a stronger difference that you need a prescription for, but the basic one is a real good stepping stone. It is present in two products. We have the Effa Claire by La Roche-Posay, and we have a different gel uh, at the pharmacies. Price point is wonderful, and I always start my patients two nights a week. So you can use like a pearl size of a product like this or like this all over your face, mixed or not with a moisturizer. Uh, the other night, so we start this first, the other nights first only moisturizers. After a month, you're doing okay, no irritation. I'll put you on a retinol the other nights. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna do two nights a week, five nights a week. After a month or two, you're good, no peeling, everything is good. And this retinol you have is a 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay. It comes also in a 0.25. Right. So for very sensitive patients, I start on a 0.25 and okay. then I go to the 0.5. Oh. And the Neutrogena with uh, wrinkle repair is a 0.5. So you can start with that also. So this would be the beginning. Then we would do night and then in the morning, what about the morning? Then in the morning is when I choose the glycolic acid that we're mm -hmm. both on for many years right. because that can be used and that also has concentrations. So then I would say after you're doing this for three to six months and you say I'm ready, to bump up, okay, I'm good, I have patients that come back, I can use that now every night, I'm not having a problem with that, great. Now you're ready for prescription, right? Prescriptions retinol, go, retinoids go from, this is the tretinoin, the most common one, now it all uh, has a generic form, so that decreased the cost big time. Yep. Years ago, all we oh, had so was retin-A, and yeah. patients were, would be not very happy shedding $200 for a tube like this, right. it works like a charm but now it is generic and uh, we can get this anywhere from 80 to 110 dollars you need a prescription you should not start these products without seeing a dermatologist having your skin analyzed because for the start you have to see how your skin is they all come in creams they come in lotions they come in gels okay. so it depends on how oily your skin is mm -hmm. how fast you want this treatment to progress how much you can tolerate the shedding and that only a dermatologist dermatologist can tell you. The same way as the tretinoin is in here, tretinoin is always also in this prescription formulation by Altrino. Altrino has retin-A yep. in uh, the same kind of formulation, but it's so moisturizing is this that new? you tolerate. It's new. I've never seen yeah, this. Yeah, Altrino. Okay. Yeah, you're too tough. You don't need that. <laughs> so, I mean, you can use something much stronger okay. than that. Okay. But if you tried the tretinoin basic, and you said, no, this is not for me, it's too irritated. We start people on Altrino. Oh, and I see you it's, will it's point 0.05. 0.05, okay. so you can start in a medication that this and this are the same, uh -huh. you will get the same results with much less irritation. Got it, So they just bumped up the moisture That's in it, this. bumped okay. up the moisture. Also, Retin-A has the product called Renova, I don't know if you remember oh, that. that. Yeah. Wonderful product, a little pricey, mm -hmm. but super moisturizing. They mixed a night cream on it, okay. so it's very pleasant, very nice on the skin, so that that's another option also. And then we have uh, other uh, Retin-A products or uh, they have uh, this one. This one is called Tazerac. Okay. Tazerotene is a new form of tretinoin. 
much more intense okay mm -hmm. much more intense so this would be for people that have already been through all of that okay. and are like ready now to bump it up that would be for me uh i am afraid of saying yes but yes i know you're gonna want to try it i'll give you a sample today okay. so same deal right. it also does everything that the tretinoin does but the xeratine is a little bit more intense it works a little bit more okay and the brand brand new baby of uh, the, the family, Triferrotine, also prescription. This one is a fourth generation retinol that just came out in the mm -hmm. market. We are starting to test it out and use it on patients. The first responses we had is that it's not as irritating as the Tazeratine. So I can I'll get back to you guys in like a few months okay. to let you know what is uh, the jury still out there on those. Right. Tell me about how long it's going to take for somebody to see results see results something like this that's a very important question because of course we want it better tomorrow of course I mean, we do. come on We're it started impatient. cream and i want it right better right uh you have to understand that these creams are altering the cell process right mm -hmm. one we have several layers of skin from the top to the bottom once you use these products it penetrates all the way up you have to understand the top cells are dead. You're not gonna see anything. The no. first symptoms you have of improvement. The shedding. The shedding. So shedding is good. Patients come, oh my God, I'm shedding. That's good. You had all this dead skin. We need to get rid of that, right? Mm -hmm. So then you're gonna feel in a second week of treatment. Then those products go to what we call basal layer, the first membrane of live cells, right? And those are the cells that are gonna start producing better, younger, collagen, better cells, better everything, right? From that cell, from the basal layer to come all the way to the surface right here takes 60 days. Yes. So before two months, you can't evaluate the result of basically any creams, just moisturizers, right? Because you're putting it in and they're moisturizing your skin right away. But any cream that is gonna change brown spots, wrinkles, that you need two months at least. And we say for Retin-A, for you to say, wow, six months. Yes. You will get a wow in six months. And one thing I tell you, and I do it and I tell everybody to do it, use your selfies, okay? You go, mm -hmm. you start a product, wash your face completely, get on a, your bathroom or somewhere, natural, natural life lives. is really good. Mm -hmm. Do selfies close up of your right face, left face, front face, and then you start those products. And every month, mm -hmm. follow up with that. That's the way my patients really stick to it because when you see the pictures, see it's shocking, but yeah. you're not going to remember how you looked a month ago, right? Yeah. But when you look at it, pore size is smaller, texture is so mm -hmm. much better, bumps are non existent. So that's how you're going to see that you're getting a huge improvement. Is there anybody who can't do this? Um, no. Is there someone who has to go very, very slow? Yes. yes. I've had very sensitive patients, my eczema patients, my rosacea patients, mm -hmm. super sensitive. Okay then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to do a retinol once a week at night. That's it, a drop mm -hmm. of retinol. The la rest of the night's just a good moisturizer. In the morning, we're gonna use an acid, super light, a dot of it. Great. Once you're comfortable with that, you go higher and higher. Everyone can do it. It could take you a year to yes. be able to use a, a, re a real tretinoin product, to be used to use it more than once a day. As always, it is not a sprint. So just go slow and benefits will come no matter what. I have patients that need to use a product that is almost Vaseline for the beginning of their tretinoin, super retinol, yes. super thick. So they put a product that's real thick, a little touch of the retinol on it, and that's how their skin very, very mm -hmm. slowly gets used to it. And I can tell you, 99% of my patients, even if they're all medical patients, they come here just for their medical checkups, I put everybody in a form of retinol. Because yep. if I can give you better skin, why is not? Right? Isn't that why I mean, we're coming to the dermatologist to make sure our skin is in good health, yes. we're in good shape, but also we want to look good too. Yeah, of course, and healthy. That's Thank it. You. So. A lot of questions about sunscreen. Sunscreen. And, and, and awesome. sun. I, you know, I have a lot of people ask me, can you do a, a program like this during the summertime? Oh, you say yes. 
everyone who asked that, yes. I, know. I am from Brazil, so yes. yes. If we couldn't do this in the sun, yes. Brazil would shut down. <laughs> uh, and the problem with the sun is, in the early days, the message was, don't use Retin-A and go outside. Don't use, and the reason for that was, you're killing your Retin-A product. Yeah. All those, they last 30 seconds once you expose them to UV light. Yeah. So people translated that as, I'm gonna have a terrible reaction and mm. burn to the ground if I use this and I go outside. Yes. No, you just throw away your money because it's not gonna do anything. But you can use it at night as much as you want. And even if you forget to wash your face in the morning, the sun will take care of getting rid of your retin-A. So you can go to the beach after you use retin-A. And does it make you more sun sensitive? Well, you just have to think like that. You used to have this much dead skin on mm -hmm. top of your skin, right? Right. So you had some dead skin protection from the sun, not a lot. Now that your skin is all young and new, mm -hmm. you are a little bit more sensitive. But regular use of sunscreen will completely cover you up. You can. I have all my patients here, a lot of patients play tennis, mm -hmm. jog outside, go to the pool. All of them are using retinoid problem, no problem at all. And how high of an SPF do you need to How use? high? Okay, all the studies made us a little bit confused in the past, right? The higher is not better. Sure. And uh, so the rule is anything over 30 mm -hmm. is uh, adequate. I use a 50 okay. and uh, 50 is better than 30. 50 is not 50 times better, but it is better, right? Uh, a amount, the most important thing of the sunscreen is reapplying. Yeah, that's where we forget. I mean, we do one layer and then I know. it's like one and done. You see, that's yeah. what happens. And you have to understand we're outside. Yeah. Wind, sweat, it, uh, you rub your face. So then the sunscreen after a good two to three hours, the half of that sunscreen is gone. Yeah. Uh, and the problem is reapplying in a way that it does ma doesn't make your face all greasy and yucky. So powder sunscreen formulations are the way to reapply. I so, love those. You know I use this unforgettable yes, brush on sunscreen. Yes, that's the it's best amazing. one. Now, that should be in your purse at all times. Yeah. You get in your car, just brush that in. That product is wonderful. You apply to your hands mm -hmm. when you're driving. You apply to your face. It, it is very matte, so you don't get all sweaty through it, and it doesn't get your hands all yucky. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, formulations that are good for sports. You can use the very thin, nice, SPF if you're gonna go swimming or if you're gonna go run then we recommend the stick formulation so they look like a mini deodorant they're thicker and they will stay with you through sweating for much longer okay and the last question price point do you have to spend more to get more no you absolutely don't okay mm -hmm. this is something that I make very clear to my patients here you skin care for good skin shouldn't cost you a lot of money okay mm -hmm. this product here about 18, 20 dollars max. Uh, different, 35, 39 dollars. And this tube, it's kind of a large tube, should last you okay. three, three months, four months. All you use is a pearl size two to three times a week. Yep. All we use in this product is one or two drops at night. Uh, products with a tretinoin, the prescription one. This should be generic product around $80. Mm -hmm. Same thing, three it to four months. Forever. See? Yes. You're using, using, and sometimes I'm like, oh, let me expedite this because it's going to expire because you use yeah. it so slowly. This can be used anywhere also, okay? Neck, chest, mm -hmm. when you have damage here, yes. back Hands. of your hands. So you can use it now that these products are more affordable. You can do a lot of this. Uh, a lot of my patients, when we upgrade to this, then they use the cheaper version different on their chest, their hands, because this you can use more without worry. Cover with a sunscreen. So you see, for less than, what is that, like $50 a month, $60 a month, you can have a real prescription yeah. formulation for uh, night treatment and uh, get huge benefits from it. Lastly, and, and real quick, I do this, I don't know if it's right, but I bring it up to right around the eye area. Do it. See, and I don't Good. use an eye cream. See, you know so much, I'm so glad. <laughs> this is so attention. true, right? okay? We do not need an eye cream yeah. because the skin in the eye is the most sensitive skin, obviously, sure. and we need that skin to also get thicker, get more collagen, more elastic fibers. So if you use the same thing you use for your eye area, 
that's great. I mean, it's yeah. doing everything. But always be careful. You can get that area kind of burned, very dry. So that's when I tell patients, if you want a night cream at the beginning before you upgrade to this, I'm good with that. Because the eye cream is this just diluted a little yes. more. You can start with that. And then you can start adding this to it and put just a nice thick moisturizer in the eye area. Yes. Did I not say she was fabulous? <laughs> <laughs> She's fabulous, okay? She's it's fabulous. so great to work with her. Oh my gosh, this is vitamin A 101. I, That's it. I, have, we, have we busted any myths? Is there anything else we need I to say? I think we talked about all of it. So everyone okay. can use it. You can go in the sun and use it. Start it today. Perfect. And I'm going to provide a link to your website. Oh, perfect. For okay. everybody here in Houston, if anybody has any questions. Well, That's it. You guys can products. always, uh, we have a line just for questions and cosmetic uh, questions like that. Okay. You can call that line and we can answer questions for you. If you want to uh, ask about what's the ideal cream for you, we can consult on that and help you. Fantastic. You're amazing. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yes, go for it! Okay. <laughs>